I know what CTE looks like. I've looked at it many a day in the eye and it's not pretty. He was robbed of the last 15 years of his life. Baiting, looking, looking, looking. He's under the gun. His body froze. They knew he would find a way to win. He just always could pull something out of the pocket somehow. All right, all right, let's go. Stabler at quarterback. Once you're in the trenches with guys like that, something really special comes out of it. He was the author of maybe the most appropriately titled autobiography written. The title is simply Snake by Ken Stabler, written with the fine sports writer. People always wonder where his nickname came from, the snake, and it came actually from one of his high school coaches. He zigzagged back and forth, back and forth, and the coach said that boy runs like a snake. Football in the South is, is almost like religion. He grew up listening to Alabama football on the radio with his daddy. Then Coach Bryant came calling. Kenny was really good at hiding a lot of his symptoms from the girls because he didn't want them to worry. I think there were a lot of days that he could not get away from the sound in his head and headaches became a, a, just a constant event for him. He grit his teeth so bad that he literally broke a bridge. There were days that I could walk into the house and knew that he was not having a good day. It was obvious by the look on his face, the house would be completely silent because he just didn't want any sound. He could never sleep. For our viewing pleasure, they pay for it with their bodies and now we're finding out with their, their brain. It made me kind of sad when he started talking about it because he knew, I, I think he knew that there, it was a lot worse than obviously what we knew. It became an incredible weight on Kenny about his grandsons. I know he worried constantly about my boys. Of course, I love watching them, but I do worry watching those hits. That's not big rush this time. He's troubled and he's dropped at the 44. I don't have any personal resentment or anger at the NFL. I'm not afraid to speak up and say, they've got to stand up. They've got to do what's right. We know the helmet is not the answer. There has to be something done about the contact. I think people are probably going to start questioning what are we doing, you know? What are we really doing? And what do we need to do now to, to fix it or to stop some of this?